Hello, everyone. Thank you for coming to my talk. My name is Martin Promer, and I am from the University of Wisconsin. Today, I'm presenting a joint work with my advisor, Jignesh, my fellow students, Surya and Junda. I'll be discussing our group's effort to improve the performance of analytical queries in SQLite 3. This presentation is focused on a few core ideas. First, we will introduce SQLite 3 by talking about some of the reasons why it's the most deployed database solution in the world. However, we will also talk about some of its shortcomings, especially in the context of edge computing. We emphasize that when we use the term edge computing, we also include compute performed on mobile devices. Given these strengths and weaknesses, we pose the question of if we can improve the performance of SQLite to meet modern data processing needs. The answer to this question is a resounding yes. Over the course of this presentation, we will demonstrate how we achieved a speed up of 500 to 1,000 times for analytical query performance while not losing any performance in transactional workloads. When we describe SQLite as ubiquitous, we mean that in the fullest sense of the word. Given how SQLite is the lightweight database of choice for thousands of applications, including some of the most popular smartphone operating systems and web browsers, it's difficult to find applications that have not considered utilizing SQLite in some shape or form. It's estimated that there are over 1 trillion SQLite databases in active use, a usage statistic that few pieces of software can say they have achieved. However, the monumental rise of edge computing has posed a difficult challenge for SQLite. There is a growing need for high-performance data analytics on edge devices, and currently SQLite does not perform well on analytic workloads. In some cases, this can be a critical shortcoming, as an application may require that the data be analyzed at the edge. Thus, we are highly motivated to investigate the possibility of adapting SQLite to better service analytics-focused queries. Currently, the status quo for heavily analytic workloads and edge computing tasks is largely to move data off-site for analytics processing. This just isn't feasible for some workloads and data sets. We want to push analytic processing to the edge while continuing to benefit from the transactional query performance that we have today in SQLite. Before we can discuss our approach, we describe the underlying architecture of SQLite 3 as our solution has to work in this framework. SQLite 3 is simple in its conception. Many of the traditional query processing steps are grouped together as the SQL command processor, which receives queries from some interface and generates an SQLite 3 parse tree. This parse tree is passed to the virtual machine unit, which both optimizes and translates the query into virtual database engine instructions. These instructions then interact with the storage interface to execute queries. Over the course of this research, we attempted a number of different approaches. Not only did these first attempts influence our final approach, but they also showcased many of the obstacles and challenges when working with the SQLite 3 code base. Our first investigation was to see if we could implement a storage solution that is significantly more suitable for analytics query processing. SQLite's B-tree storage structure is very well suited for transactional workloads, but suffers from severe performance issues during analytics operations. While SQLite does provide a virtual table interface and other access points, these are clearly designed to be used with the existing set of optimizations that the virtual machine performs. There wasn't a clear method, at least one that we could find, to allow us to simply augment the storage layer to get a higher performance for the heavyweight analytic primitives, including scans and joins. One next approach was to swim upstream in the control flow to explore what we could do if we tapped right into SQLite 3 parse tree. The parse tree translates into instructions in the VDB module. These instructions are called instructions for a reason, as each line in the VDB output contains an opcode and a number of operands. This mechanism allows for SQLite 3 to be easily implemented on any required architecture, as implementing the VDB instructions effectively implements SQLite 3. Unfortunately, the VDB is quite low level and is tightly coupled with the B-tree APIs in the storage layer. At a very high level, query plans largely translate into loops over a B-tree access layer. We considered completely ripping out the VDB and writing a new virtual layer that has support for constructs like vectorization up front, but that would effectively amount to rewriting pretty much the whole system. To address these challenges, we implemented an acceleration path for analytical queries in SQLite 3. 
the usage of an optional acceleration path preserves the existing transactional query processing behavior of SQLite 3, as non-analytical queries do not take the acceleration path. Queries that do take the acceleration path benefit from a number of state-of-the-art optimizations at each step of the analytical query processing pipeline. We note that this approach requires that we make an extra copy of the data in the deployments that we need faster analytic processing. In this work, we allow for this overhead and are exploring ways to mitigate this overhead in future work. First, we utilize a secondary copy of the data that is always resident in memory. This is accomplished via Apache Arrow, which provides a number of primitives that can be used to build a column or storage layer in our acceleration path, allowing for significantly faster record retrieval. Further, by structuring records in a column or format, we naturally align our storage layer with the queries that will be accelerated by SQLite 3 Hustle Edition. In addition, Apache Arrow provides a number of high-performance compute kernels to better interact with the underlying column store. These compute kernels are already geared towards vectorization and single instruction multiple data use cases, and thus provide a high performance starting point to implementing our own database operators on. From here, we can implement high performance vectorized, parallel, and fused database operators. As we have already created a set of high performance tools to perform analytical queries, we are now able to combine these individual pieces into an analytical query processing pipeline. First, the select resolver acts as a gateway to the acceleration path. If a query is not supported, it proceeds through the SQLite 3 query processing pipeline as normal. If a query is supported, the select resolver is able to apply state-of-the-art analytics query optimization techniques by utilizing the SQLite 3 parse tree, such as look-ahead information passing. A number of these techniques were shown to work well in a previous project called QuickStep. We focused on implementing these key techniques using Apache Arrow. That portion is called Hustle, hence the name SQLite 3 Hustle Edition. The acceleration path also includes a memlog unit that records mutations from non-accelerated transactional queries. This ensures consistency between the original SQLite 3 database and our in-memory copy. We support multiple operational modes for the memlog, which change both if and when updates are applied to the in-memory database. For example, the lazy mode will only perform the update if a read requires the to be mutated records. Thus, while the memlog has been linked to SQLite 3 query processing pipeline, it is only needed when a mutation to the SQLite 3 database is detected. This allows for a lightweight integration with the original query processing pipeline, avoiding imposing significant overhead costs to the existing transactional workloads. To measure the performance of SQLite 3 Hustle Edition on analytic workloads, we use SSB at scale factor 10. We also evaluate the performance of existing transactional workloads using the TATP benchmark configured with 2 million subscribers. Experiments are performed on a two socket Xeon 4114 processor provisioned by the Cloud Lab service. We admit that this is somewhat of a heavyweight processing platform for today's edge devices, but likely not for edge devices in the near future. First, we discuss SQLite 3 HE's analytical query processing performance. The brown bar here is SQLite 3's performance for each of the SSB queries. The different green bars correspond to the performance of SQLite 3 HE with different thread counts. Note that we are able to fit the entire workload into our in-memory copy of the data. Our analytical query processing results are striking with a 500 to 1,000 times performance gain depending on the query when compared to naive SQLite 3. The acceleration path is able to leverage the current state of the art in analytical query processing techniques to generate orders of magnitude of performance improvements. These performance benefits come from a variety of factors, including the use of in-memory column store, query optimization, factorized compute, and the use of thread level parallelism. Essentially, many of these techniques were implemented in the earlier QuickStep system. The Hustle DB engine is a re-implementation of them that utilizes Apache Arrow primitives. Next, we evaluate the performance of the TATP benchmark. Each of the lines represents the transactional query throughput as the number of concurrent workers is varied. Note that SQLite 3 is the red line, while blue, green, and yellow are the SQLite 3 HE, configured with different memlog mutation processing modes. While our performance is heavily bottlenecked by the constant presence of writes, 
The combination of accelerating reads and a lightweight mutation propagation system allow for a slight performance improvement depending on the workload. More generally, there is no significant performance degradation, even with the presence of the acceleration path, allowing for SQLite 3 Hustle Edition to be used as a drop-in replacement for SQLite 3. While there are minor differences between the memlog mutation propagation modes, we do not have compelling evidence to define any one of these as a standout choice. This is to be somewhat expected, as the optimal choice for mutation propagation is highly dependent on the peculiarities of the underlying data set. In future experiments, we hope to evaluate a larger breadth of transactional workloads, such as highly skewed data. Overall, we achieve a significantly improved analytical query performance without degrading the transactional query performance, though at the cost of making an extra copy of the data. In conclusion, we have presented an SQLite 3 Hustle Edition. The system achieved magnitudes of performance improvement for the analytical queries we specifically wanted to accelerate while incurring no transactional query performance degradation in existing workloads. Essentially, we have an analytic query engine that sits next to the existing SQLite 3 transactional engine. Along the way, we also presented why we made our design choices given the existing internal architecture of SQLite 3. Broadly, we focused our methods on leveraging both the state-of-the-art and analytical query processing research and underutilized machine resources such as hardware parallelism and vectorized instructions. Moving forward, we are interested in investigating which components of the implemented techniques could be directly implemented in SQLite 3 and thus avoid making a copy of the data. As mentioned earlier, experiments were performed on a machine provisioned by CloudLab. Further, this work was supported by both the National Science Foundation and Semiconductor Research Corporation. We thank our sponsors for their continued support, and of course, we thank everyone for attending this talk.